John and Emily, I, I think you two both have the advantage of being entirely yourselves when most people spend their life trying to find their partner, their better half, uh, someone to make them whole. You both are entirely yourselves as individuals and together you become something much, much more. And in the spirit of the nature here, I was, I was trying to think of a way to analogize you two and I thought of a pretty little clamshell um, <laughs> in the water, opening and closing actively or you know, by the force of, of the tide, opening up to receive nutrients, beauty, new experiences, but ultimately coming together, having your own beautiful little world inside that nobody can see into. And so now we turn to the center and we put our hands into our sky, to this beautiful sky. We say thank you for this really bright, warming, super hot sun, for this magnificent trees that give us shade. But most importantly, I ask permission and guidance for Emily and for John so that in the darkest of nights that the stars bright shine and shine brightly to illuminate their way, to have the right constellations, to really align perfectly in those moments when they feel lost, when there's grievance, and also to align in that time when they just need guidance to take the next step like they're doing today. rings, the sacred symbol of the circle, the circle of the eternal life, be the circle that you have already lived together before birth. In the sacred contract that you did as a spirit to meet each other at the perfect time in the right place, where you met and you completely got lost in each other's eyes. And today, with a blessing of starting a whole new life where you least expected and all of a sudden that this life and these rings symbolize the sacred union for now and forever. Amen. John and Emily, my brother and I'm excited to, to have a sister that I feel like I've already had for a number of years. You guys, um, you're beautiful lights individually. You both shine and when you come together you make a, you make a, a glow that is unreal and unmissable and unmistakable. I love you both and I'm excited for you guys and wish you the best. I've been blessed in so many ways. God gave us three wonderful sons. And now, with Emily and Kathy, and, 
Thank you, Kayla. Uh, I feel we have, we've been blessed again. The three wonderful daughters, stepdaughters. And if it all ends tomorrow, I've had it all. I've had it all. That is this young couple who have been already together for 15 years with us. Because I feel like we have been together from past lives. That they continue to grow, but yet to continue to have that inner child always curious, always with that smile. John, John, <laughs> my bear burrito too. With you, time stands still. Time slows down. Time moves slow quick, so quickly that I've blinked and spent over 15 years watching us grow older and wiser and full of our unique memories. Time holds us in ways that I never knew possible. With you, it sometimes feels like different lifelines have intersected from eons ago, and together, our time is eternal. Emily, I love you. Uh, you are the golden one. You are my sun and my moon. Uh, you truly are my best friend. <coughs> we know each other for 15 years now, and we can still continue to learn more about one another. Uh, you really are the best Frenchie mom that a bulldog could ask for. You've helped me to understand the gift of a sunrise and the comfort of a sunset. Everyone that comes in contact with you understands how unique you are and the warmth that your soul radiates. And as I look back upon memories, there are moments which stand out along our journey, which are encapsulated with a mystique quality in the distant place where memories live. And yet, they still hold a fierceness in my heart, crystallized by moments of looking into your eyes, euphoric feelings of our young love, our first dates on a literal roller coaster ride, endless days by the pool and wrestling matches and hours on the phone, and a love that felt unreal for two young teen souls. We can't escape time, but we can transcend it. We can defy it. I've always felt uh, I've always felt that I've known you for eons of time in immeasurable ways. <laughs> Yugen, a uh, Japanese noun, a profound awareness of the universe that triggers feelings too deep and mysterious for words. Soulmates give you an overwhelming emotions that you can't be described by human definition. I have this weird theory that some people are drawn to each other because their atoms were near each other when the universe was created. And over time, the same atoms keep coming back together universe has existed for billions of years and by coincidence we have ended up living here at the same time it's got to count for something i know you go right into the heart and i feel graced to lock right into your heart as you have locked into mine for more than half my life and even more i know that you've overcome some real hardships and losses with a resilience and a remarkable gratitude for life I know without a doubt you will support me and you have supported me through big changes, uncertainty, every hardship I've ever been through. My heart and soul and family since our first kiss. Living in the moment could be the meaning of life. Here's to our future. I am pleased to pronounce Emily and John as 
soulmates, life partners, and wife and husband. That's it? <laughs> I present Mr. and Mrs. Hooper. Over the years, I have witnessed a boy and a girl grow up together. Best friends, life partners, soulmates on the path, encouraging one another, challenging one another by facing their own personal wounds with courage, compassion, honesty, and a lot, a lot of love. Two baby birds, wide-eyed and curious, they were determined to spread their wings as far and wide as possible, to explore their outer and inner worlds, creating a life path together, living their outer lives aligned with their inner truths. Not an easy mountain to climb. And now before me are two expansive beings, full of their own wings of wisdom, listening to the cadence of their inner knowing, listening and following, listening and following from deep within. Thank you. 